All right. Hello, everybody. Hey, look what Rick gave me. Uh, Richard Wise uh, uh, sent this to me, and I just wanted to show everybody. Look at that. Can y'all see that? It's got an elephant on it, and it says, Roll Tide, Sweet Bobby. It's a piece of wood. It's like a plaque. That is just beautiful. He's a plaque woodworker, but it's got this beautiful elephant on it. And uh, everybody say that really good? Isn't that cool? Got the elephant, Sweet Bobby, Roll Tide. Yeah. I don't know if he used AI to do it or what, but uh, it's really cool. It's got an elephant with tusk and uh, got the uh, everything. It's just drilled out there. It's really nice. And then look at this, y'all. He sent me these two super duper pins. Look at this. Well, they're really high quality, just really heavy pins. I got to hide those from my kids. And then he also sent one of the woodworking thing of a flower to bed which is really cool. So yeah, hey, I appreciate that, Rick. That was really nice of you. Um, enjoy that. <clears throat> That's definitely going to adorn my office up here in uh, the command center. So let's get started now. Let's uh, share everything here so we can get kicking along and let's hide the camera so it doesn't. Now, here we go. So let's look at, look at this, y'all. Let's start off with the Big Green Monster. The market yesterday went above on uh, Tesla News, and it said, whoa, 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 whoa. Did we forget there's a big green monster line here? And the market went, oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. And then we're popping up against it and popping up against it. Now, the thing that you'll notice is the more that we pop up against the line, the more probability is that we'll bust through it. So you need to know that. So even though I'm saying I think we've got a big magnetic draw to the market down here at the 5290, uh, 5285 area, uh, that uh, the more that we keep popping this number here, the 5339, the more probabilistic we're going to bust through it. But even though we bust through it, uh, remember the value area. What, Jojo? You want to tell them something? Tell them Jojo wants to tell you something. Hold on. I lost a two. He lost a two. Shine right there in the little camera, Jojo, where you can see that, that you lost a two. Did a two pair come see you last night? Yes. Yeah, so How much money did you get? Five. Five dollars. Okay, Jojo, you're cute. Is, is there a, a robot in the pool? No, I'm going to put the robot in the pool in a little bit. Yeah. So you won't have to clean the pool. I got a robot to do it. Okay. So what was I saying? So the more that we go, but remember, even if we do go into it, it's going to be overbought for the fair value zone below, which means we'll probably come down, okay? Uh, $5, the two very reflects inflation, LOL, yeah. Uh, Lily got $10 uh, the other day because she had lost two teeth. How about that? So she got $10. I thought, what a farce. I mean, I don't. I barely got a quarter when I was a kid. So inflation has, uh, has gone up. Yeah, they're cashing out for sure. So let's look at our market today, see what it's doing. All right, nothing up 0.8.5 percent. It has been down, uh, you know, just kind of vacillating around our 80 percent line here. And, um, and the cool thing is, it's inside of its um, um, 15 minute opening range. See that gray area? That's the 15 minute opening range. Now, VIX is down to 11 handle. Now, here's what you got to watch today, y'all. Now, sometimes I'm wrong on this, but most times I'm right. You see how the AD is negative 263? An AD of negative 263 does not equate to a market that's up 10 points. This market should be down significantly more than what it is up right now. What does that mean? I believe in the last 30 minutes of the day that we're going to have a mini sell-off. Okay, That's what I believe based on what the AD is. And the AD is just tripping out, tripping out, tripping out. It's just, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. So with an AD of negative 262, expect to sell off into the last 30 minutes of the day. Oh, we'll see. It doesn't matter for what we do, though, does it? So let's see how we're doing today. So we hadn't traded since the 21st. So today is the 23rd, 24th. Oh, we got a, a holiday Monday, y'all. So we will not be here Monday. Uh, Oh, boy. I'm getting a sweet potato pot. Beth, Miss Deborah at the, uh, woo, tell Beth to let me know when she wants to be nice and get you a sweet potato collar. Oh, my, I can't wait. 
I had some sweet potato cobbler. Oh my gosh, y'all. Now you if you take an apple cobbler and a peach cobbler, those are good. But those are so public. If you really want to get you something, you get you a sweet potato cobbler. And I got a birthday coming up, and I think I'm gonna get me a sweet potato cobbler with some vanilla bean ice cream. Lord in the name and the name. Friend, 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 and neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Oh, that's good stuff. Let's see how much count is up or down today. I hope I get to get for some reason on as, as y'all's is out, tasty trade out working right. Every time I hit it, I have to hit it twice. So it looks like I am at 346. Oh, no. Am I down? How am I down? 346, 387, 0.31. That ain't no fun. <laughs> down $787. Crap, I don't like that. Well, I guess it is what it is. Let's look at what the Greeks and ratios. Since we're up today, I'm not sure why we're down. What happened yesterday? Was the market down or something yesterday? So let's see. We got to trade this in the Mega IRA. And let's just do this. We have some GTC orders filled today, too. So we are at 358, 157. 358, 157. Look at that. 358, 157. You know we had a GTC order hit, don't you? 11. And then let's go to our buying per. Buying per, and our buying power is, uh, don't count bills, so 111.3, 111.3. I think that's it. So we're at 32% there. Let's see if there's anything that says that we need to take them off. Let me get rid of these, y'all. And the way you do it is to just show your open orders. So just go that, and then just choose the blank ones. And your X, and it'll just show your open orders. So let's look at auto close dates here. I don't see anything that's telling me to auto close, which is nice. But uh, let's see what GTC orders we had filled. So let's go to activity. We'll go to working, and we've got to move this to get them to seven days. All right. Look hey, at this, hey, y'all. Hey, Ed. Hate to interrupt you, but you need to go into privacy mode, bud. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Ed. Sure. Y'all keep me straight, and I appreciate it. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, look at this, y'all. We bought 30. Y'all, 30 uh, at 9.30 this morning when I was just uh, getting out of bed. 30 of them, y'all. And then we did a GTC... Uh, this morning as well, 917, where we bought six at 29 days left to go. Wow. Waka waka. So let's do those. We did the 3250s with 29 left to go. 3250s. Let's find those. 3250s with 29 left to go. So that'll be, should be up here. 3250s with 29 days left to go. There they are. We bought those six back. For 20 cent, 20 cent, and then we did the exit uh, today, control colon. So look at there, y'all. We made nine, uh, $818 on that. And then let's see, let's find this. We did. Uh, what I say? We did 20, 30. So that would be 18 of these 4,000s. So we must have did BSH 21, must have been the 3950s. Hey, Joe. Uh. 3950s. Yeah, 3950s. Look at 30 of them, y'all. Wow. Waka, waka, waka. 3950s. So let's go down here. That's going to be as BSH 21. BSH 21. And what do we say? Those were the 4,000. So these are 3950s. And did 30 of them, y'all. I mean, 30 longs. Jeez Louise, let the crash happen. So we did 30 puts. And those are long hedges. 
pages at 50 days. 522, was it? 24? I thought it was. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Hold on. 522 at 917. Yeah, there you go. 522 is when those happen. So that's good with 50 days left to go. So they're 49 days, or I guess these are 50. Are they 50 days today? It must have been 51 yesterday. Hold on a second. They're 50 today. So that must have been fields yesterday at 51 days. That's what 51 days in there. There we go. And we did those at a dollar and fifty five. So that entire trade was put on for a a, a, a break even. Let's see what our P and L looks like on this thing. Let's see what we look like here. Holy Shimon, what is up with that? Wow, that's unusual. Ed, explain to me what's happening here. Why am I making money if I got to go there? Do I have a future somewhere? I have a positive future? I'm not sure. But that is wacky. I don't know, Bob. That's weird, Ed. Look at that. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I got futures anywhere. Options. No, I don't have any futures. Just got options. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Hey, look at that. When you take the stock off, look, it just shows my capital requirement of that. Okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. All right. So because I bought back six times five six trunches i could y'all if i wanted to these my shorts have 50 days left i could sell another six trunches except i could actually sell 21 instead of 18 because i bought back six of the other ones over there so i think i can go and go say sell 21 short puts look at this y'all let's keep it going let's build it up let's go trade Let's go e minis. And we just want to do them at 60 days or more. So 60 days or more. So we got some we got stuff all in here, y'all. All in here. Uh where can I do this? I could do it, let's say it's 64. Let's see what we got in here. Down about the three dollars. Look at this. I got stuff all in here. Where's my GTC orders over there? No, I don't want to put them in 64. I already got stuff there. Let's see. 64, let's try 69. I think we got stuff down in the $3 there. No, we don't have anything down there. It's 69 days. So we could do these. Sell 21 of them for 315. Let's do 21. I like clicking 21 of those little puts. I like it a lot. 21 of the 4,000s. Hey, Bob. Hey, Ed. Oh, no, never mind. You okay? What was wrong? No, I was going to ask you to try 320 first, but that's just me being a greedy pig. Oh, you were being greedy. Ed, you know me. I'm not yeah. greedy. I'm and like you know me. Ed. I'm always trying to work it for the extra penny or two. Ed, did you get back on vacation? I mean, what's wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, I came back with a case of COVID, too. So, oh, uh, no, Ed. Yep. No, no, no. But I did enjoy wearing my Trader Nerd shirt. I got a couple of comments. Like, I what saw that. that. I saw yeah. that. That was very nice, Ed. So, you know, let everyone know you're selling your swag. It's kind of fun to I wear. Can't even, I can't even find mine. Babe, where's my Trader Nerd shirt? You just folded it up today? Well, won't you iron it? Put a, put a press in it, girl. <laughs> Beth, is there not a toilet in this house that needs cleaning somewhere? Huh? Let me tell you something, Beth. If it wasn't for me up here trading and bringing the bread home so your butter could be breaded. Bobby, please. Be careful, Bobby. you got a long summer ahead, buddy. You ain't lying, Ed. Right, <laughs> so this is going to be BSH 24. Beth, is there not a toilet that needs to be scrubbed? What? I ain't scared of you. All right, we got the 4,000s right. here. You should be the rest of us all. Ed, does Mo talk back to you like Beth does to me? Does no, mean, but I'm not. I'm not so antagonistic either. So uh, if I were, I'd probably be dead. Oh, you think I'm antagonistic, huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Judge, so I don't want to become the focus. Terrible, I don't want to become the focus of your wrath, my friend. Beth, Ed said to submit, girl. Tell Ed what? 
Uh huh. <laughs> go fly a kite. She said, "Tell him go fly a kite." Don't get me in trouble with that woman. <laughs> no, he didn't say nothing. He he don't want to get in trouble. With you, Beth. Huh? Yeah. Tell her I respect the power of that. She said she says she knows better. <laughs> Ed, we've been missing you. It's good to have you back. Thanks. Well, it's easier now that your time's a little more predictable. I always miss your your meetings. Well, it was it was yeah we was I, it was I'm it was, an hour late and a dollar short a lot of the time. Yeah, it was strange because with school and stuff, I was teaching two classes, so now we're back to our noon time. You know, except for tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow, y'all, we're gonna go through that trade that I posted. Ed, did you look at the trade that I posted and want everybody to kind of report on? Yeah, yeah, the diagonalized ratio spread. Yeah, what do you think about that? I think it's a diagonalized ratio spread. Well, am I missing something or nothing? It looks really I, I good. I don't mind it, but it's a yeah. lot of leverage. And uh, I don't think it's quite as safe as a 111 or a 112. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to look at that. But I know you're, I know you're kind of rolling your 11Xs into a ratio spread on occasion. So it kind of falls into that category. Well, I stopped that. Oh, did you? Okay. Schwa says that he thinks that uh, his wife is cute when she is cleaning the toilets. Exactly. Now the worst thing I ever did is after we got married, I was I had my feet up in the in the, the living room bed. Told me to raise my feet up so she could vacuum under me. I looked at her. I said, "There's nothing more attractive than a woman working than a woman hard at work." She did, that did not, a dangerous life. That did not go over well. Beth did not like that. You know, she did not like me saying that there's nothing. Now she does take care of the house. Though. I don't do nothing, y'all. I got a robot for the pool. Ed, have you seen my pool pictures I posted the other day? We got clean I pools. Have. We don't yeah, have frogs. You're, you're out happy there to have the kids versus the frogs. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, the frogs were tearing me up. I guess they all pee in the pool, though, right? Oh yeah, all my kids pee. I pee in the pool. I ain't gonna yeah. lie about it. I, when I go to people's <laughs> house, I just say, "Listen, if I gotta go, I'm going." And they, someone tried to tell me that they had that stuff like in that movie where that turns red. I said, "Well, we fixing to find out." I said, "You think that's gonna deter me?" <laughs> hey, and y'all know everybody does it. I mean, look, it ain't just me peeing in the pool. Everybody pees in the pool. It's just we don't talk about it. Anymore. Beth, do you pee in the pool when you go to the swimming? Oh, Beth, come on. JoJo, do you pee in the pool? You know you do. He's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> That's why I put all them chemicals in there to keep y'all little, y'all pee pots out of my pool. Oh, what was I doing? I don't, oh, we got to do... Uh, group this we just did uh bsh 24 the four thousand. i know beth it ain't yeah i got plenty of time to take a nap all right so we put it in the esm4 psh 24 i'll try i'll try bsh 24 here we go we just did uh 21 today so that's bsh 24 bsh 24 and the 30s that we did they go into the bsh 21 so let's do that you got to go bsh 21 see if i can find bsh 21 yeah let's do these undo these ungroup and then we should have those and those should be BSH 21. Do you have a limit on the BSH you want on? What? No, I want a million of them on. That's exactly what I want on. I mean, I want to be throwing thousands of these things out. That's what I'm looking for. So, um, hey, there's something else I forgot to do. I forgot to do the GTC orders, didn't I? So let's go GTC 69. Go down to those 21 that we put on. See, I'm telling you, y'all, when you start doing these things, it's hard because you gotta you gotta keep up with all this stuff. So we want to go close position, close the full ones, and you want to close them when we can close those at 20 cents and make it GTC. And then we want to buy these when we can do so for like a dollar fifty-five or so. And we want to do, let's say this is seven tranches, seven times five is 35. And I like clicking, y'all. I could type in 35, but I'd rather click. I like watching these things grow. I can't wait till I'm doing this to 500. We buy 35 of them at $1.55 GTC. 
And then all you got to do is watch your GTC orders. So that'll be another tranche in probably about 10 days. It takes about 10 days, 10, 11 days for that 305 to get down to about $1.55. So that shouldn't take long at all. All right. Now, finally, let's do what we always do. Do they ju just hedge or do they generate profit? I think it hedges. I think that's what you do. Are you still pro hedge funding's excellent adventure? I am, Matt. Uh, but why I stopped doing it is because there was nothing I could do. I just sit there and watch. I'd sit there and wait, right? So I think hedge funding's adventure works very good. You just got to hold it. And, and matter of fact, I would say even holding TQQQ and just holding it and dollar cost averaging into it is a, is a phenomenal way to, to trade. Uh, there's just nothing you can do. I just think it's, uh, I would just sit there and hold it, you know, when it was going down. But if I had kept on holding, we would be up tremendously now. No doubt about it. All right. So now we want to go and do our one, one, one. So let's see what we can do. It. We didn't get filled yesterday, remember? So about a 10% probability of being in the money. We're going to take this 11% here and we're going to sell this. And, and you can do it as one order now, y'all. Now I'm still going to do it as two orders because. That's the way I track it. Let's see if we can get filled here. Oh, wow. Look at that. We got filled for $35.50. Yeah. $39.50. Yeah, Joe. Mom got me a new float. Oh, good. It's coming from ours. You got a new float, huh? I got to put the lights up tonight. We got a bunch of these solar lights up. $49.50, $35.50. $49.50, $35.50. Oh, and we paid, or Scott paid, thirty-five fifty for those boogers. So we'll go ES. Number of contracts was one, and we're gonna call this NP thirty-three. Put this is naked. One hundred twenty days. Today's date. There. So now we want to put in our little hedge. Ed, you're still not doing the put the every spread. You're just doing uh, you're just doing the naked puts now. Yeah, I'm just doing nakeds in my account on the things I'm trading. I do have some put debit spreads for my CL campaign, um, and that'll probably continue. But I do leave myself the you know permission to trade put one in. Sometimes I'll take one off and just put one in if I've got some existing put debit spreads. But in everything else, you know, I'm doing a TLT campaign. I'm doing ES, a little bit SPX credit spreads. None of that stuff I have any hedge on at all, but my notional is very low. So, and for uh, those of y'all watching our video, Ed posts videos all the time. It's on YouTube. Ed, give your YouTube channel and everything, your Discord channel, so people can find you. Thank you, Bob. What is it, Ed? What's it called? Oh, Contemporary Wealth Management. Yeah, Contemporary Wealth Management. Yep, yep. So y'all do a search for that on uh, YouTube and you probably find the links to everything that Ed has. Yeah, yeah. Raging Bull and I have our own little Discord. And I want to mention, like, he does this TQQQ and TMF combo. That's one of his bills. So oh, yeah, that was uh, that was like the Hedge Fundy's Excellent Adventure stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I never did that stuff, but I know he has that running as one of his uh, uh, ETF bills. Yeah. That's good. 5350. So we did 5400, 5350, y'all. That's a lot closer than we normally put them. But what we're doing is look, y'all, we've got a wall of protection here. If this market goes down, we're doing good. So we did 5400, 5350, and we did that for $16. So that's a lot more than I normally would do. But our put, our naked put was a lot closer too. So remember that. So then this is NP33 PDS33. Let's go do that. So positions, ESU 33rd, here we go. So 47.50, 51.50, is that it? No. 50, 54, 53, 49, 50. Let's see where that's at. ESM, I can't remember what all the EMs are. ESZ, here we go. This is... PDS. Fifty four hundred, fifty three fifty. Let's see what that is. Fifty four hundred, fifty three fifty. PDS thirty three. 
PDS 33. Now, someone had a, a, a question yesterday about the Black Swan Hedge. What was that question? 4,900, I think, is where I got my thing today. Let's see. 4,950. 3950 NP33. Anyone got a question about the Black Swan Hedge today? Hey, Bobby, I think it was how to start it. Um, yeah, how to start it. All right, so let's talk about that. And it was for a $75,000 account, if I remember it. So here's what I would do in a $75,000 account. I would buy four trunches outright. So what that would mean is I would go out 120 days and I would go to ES and I would go and I would buy or I would sell, right? We're going to sell 12 at $3. Then I'm going to buy 20. Do you need full tranches, four tranches? Even if you're just starting and don't need that much pressure? No, you can do one trunch. But if I had a seventy-five thousand dollar account, I, I swear I would do four tranches. It's going to cost you a thousand dollars, fifty points below the shorts. Okay, and that's what I would do. That whole trade is going to cost you about a thousand dollars, eleven hundred dollars or so. Then, the next time that we get a down move of 04 percent or more. And we had that yesterday, didn't we? We were down 0.5%. What do you do? You sell three more. Where? 60 DTE or more. And then you put the GTC orders in on these at 20 cents. Put the GTC on these at 20 cents. And then automatically put a GTC order in to buy five at dollar sixty or dollar fifty five. Shwain. That's how you do it. Any other questions about that? All right, if not, I will see y'all tomorrow. Hard to believe it's Friday. See y'all.